Ella loves, um, if you've been following me on Twitter, you'll know today hasn't been the best of days. Um, I'm still here though. That's true. Um, <laughs> I have decided to stop taking my medication simply because I didn't have enough funds to do so. And, um, it's just now kind of got out of my system. Eh. For anyone wondering, it is my anti-psychotic, um, or my schizophrenia, which is why I know this is what is acting up. Um, <laughs> the fucking snake behind me. I'm sorry, I my mind knows these things aren't real. But I still hear a hissing snake, and it's been following me all day today, and I'm tired of this snake. There was a toad earlier, but I think it ate it, because it stopped making noise. And the thing is, I don't see them, I only hear them. Which, if anyone knows schizophrenia, it's insanely rare to see them. It's much more common to hear them. There's a snake, and it's right there. And it won't shut up, and it's gonna eat me. It's gonna kill me, and I need to stop. Something is telling- well, not something, um, I need to record this, I guess, for a mental health thing, um, because I did my other ones, and this is the meds I'm not on today, so it helps you guys to see, um, just quite, uh, what it's like for schizophrenia. Uh, I just can't stop shaking, I can't stop shaking. Currently, there's a voice screaming. Just tell me I'm gonna die. There's a bomb under my car that I'm gonna be eaten. That everything bad's gonna happen. It's been screaming at me all day today. I cannot stay still. I was bawling earlier because it just won't stop. And this is a horrible headache and everything just won't stop screaming. Uh, and I'm terrified. I honestly am. And I know, I know it's the worst part. You know it's not real. But that doesn't change the fact that you still see it. You hear it. It's there. And there's rare times I see it. Um, my whole world is kind of wavy right now. Like looking into a pool. I would show off my arms, but I really can't keep them still. Um, so it's like looking into a pool right now. So I don't really see things. It's more of that my vision just becomes really wonky. And I hear a lot. Like in class. Um, from what I heard, at least teacher called on some guy named Jeffrey and he answered a question I turned to look at Jeffrey there was no one in that seat no one in that entire row but I was hearing the answer and I don't even have a Jeffrey in my class so I know that he really didn't call for a Jeffrey but there was a Jeffrey and he answered and that's what's freaking me out it's some it's small stuff like I'm not seeing a demon or anything but it's like some kid named Jeffrey you know like the small things are what get you, because then you start, I mean, if it's a demon, you can tell between reality and fiction pretty well. But things like a kid here, or a dog there, or whatever, or you hear a snake, you don't know if that's real or not. Because there could very well be a snake. And that's the freaky part, because you don't know what's real and what's not. And mine have never been this bad, even when I... Even before my medication, they were never this bad. It's just terrifying. Um, my brother, I know he can't take medication because it interferes with his heart medication. And um, and so he doesn't take it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And he tells me, okay, he tells me how scared he gets because he can't tell if it's real or not. When we first met, because he's my stepbrother, I was talking to him and he didn't answer me. He looked at his mom and asked if I was really there because he didn't want to be talking to a couch. And it's terrifying because you feel them. You can feel, you can see, you can hear. Sometimes it's just one of those, sometimes it's all of those. And you don't know if they're really there. Everything about them reads yes, they're there. But then people look at you weird because they're not there. And it's just, it's an insane game when it's playing with your mind and before I kind of had episodes, as we called them, where um, it would last maybe a few hours. And so I kept thinking, this will go away, this is going to go away. It's been going on all day, and it's 
only getting worse. I'm scared so much right now, guys. Um, I'm scared. Driving home from school today was absolutely terrifying. Because all I kept hearing is there's a bomb, there's a bomb, there's a bomb. If you go over 40, you are going to explode. And, I mean, I didn't even want to get in the car. I kind of had to force myself because I'm like, I need to get home. I need to get home. And it's just... I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now. I feel like I'm being really quiet. But I'm just trying so hard to stay sane right now and not start talking to random things. And I, I'm aware that I'm probably looking around all over the screen because I'm looking at things that are popping up and I know they're not really there. They're not really there. I'm alone. Nothing is here. I'm okay. This is probably the most terrifying of my illnesses because I just don't know what's real and what's not. And for all I know, you know, it could be real. And my, the, I'm just feeling that there's this horrible poison underneath my skin and I want to rip it out. And I know I should do that. And that's not even an analogy. I feel like there's actually a big wad of poison right here on my cheek. And I've already ripped a bit of a hole in there. But I just can't. I know I need to not do that because it's not really there. It's not really there. Usually when I have an episode, I'll just start trying to hurt myself like right here, or scratching my arm or my neck or something, and it's just not working anymore. I'm scratching, I'm scratching, I'm not snapping out of it. Usually it grounds you in some way, but I'm not being grounded. Something is happening, and I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. And I know they say the full extent of this doesn't seem to hit until you're in your early 20s, so about 20 to 25, 23. Um, is usually when you get your full strength of this. Strength is a funny way of phrasing it, but um, the full extent of it. And um, it seems to be hitting right now for me. Um, before I kind of said maybe I am. Maybe it was just stress-induced then. And I guess I am stressed now, but this this is, this is different. Um, so maybe it was just not the full extent until now. I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm making any sense right now. So I'm pausing over words because I forget how to pronounce them. And everything is going on at once and I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Um, I just can't stop shaking. Huh. <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like I would tell you guys about schizophrenia. Um, uh, let's see. Um, they, they've actually done scans, and the brain looks completely different. There's parts usually um, that never got fully formed, or um, have some damage to them in some way. And usually, it doesn't always mean head injury or anything. It can mean just simply that they just broke. I don't know, um, it's usually really, really hereditary. It's like definitely a biological aspect to full extent almost. Maybe slightly environmental, but it's pretty much biological. People whose parents had it and they were adopted uh, still end up getting it usually. Um, like 99% of the time they still end up getting it. Even if people who adopted them don't have any history of it. So it tells you it's really behavioral and not environmental. Um, but it actually has a full different brain thing. Um, a lot of times, they've had parts of the brains are fully intact, but for whatever reason, these certain sections are not turning on, or they're turning on too much. So, like the vision one keeps detecting new things moving, like it's you know kind of lights up every time it detects something, and it will light up. But there's really, you know, the person who's watching them, there's nothing there, nothing showed up. But brain detects something new showed up. So it's kind of a way of telling that these people are really seeing these things. They're not pretending. It's not make-believe. These are really popping up, you know. Um, they've checked auditory and everything, and the brain's actually reacting as if someone is literally screaming in their ear. Um, but there's no one there, and no one's talking. 
uh, they may be asleep, I mean, but still screaming, um, and it's just, it's scared, because, um, you just feel like, I've been feeling this awful pain today, as if someone is literally stabbing me through the chest, and I'm trying to stay up, and I think that's where a lot of my pain is coming through, but I know there's nothing in my chest, but I keep wanting to rip it out, and there's nothing there to rip out. I just have been clawing at it and just struggling to rip whatever this is in my chest out. And I know there's nothing there. My mind says there's nothing there or my heart or whatever, but it it's like if someone tells you the sky is purple and you're seeing it as blue, you know, you know logically it is purple, but that doesn't change the fact that you still see it as blue. And you'll assume that person, I mean, your mind t tends to assume that person's lying about it being purple because it's obviously not. Or whatever the case may be, you just, it's hard because you see something that seems so blatantly obvious, and they see something completely different. And, you know, your brain kind of trusts yourself over other people in most situations, you know. Just like if someone, um, let's see, looked at a TV and said that's a microwave. Or, that seems kind of similar, um, how about, that's a jacket. You're gonna look at that and be like, you're crazy, that's a TV. I um, mean, even if everyone sees a jacket, you'll still think these people are absolutely crazy, because it's obviously a TV. And they can tell you it's a jacket all day, and your mind may know that is a jacket spot. Like, a TV wouldn't be hung up in a closet. But, it's hard to tell yourself that, you know, that, that's really mm, a jacket. Um, because, you know, logically that's where a jacket would be, but the TV's there, so obviously I just found some weird way to hang a TV and try to trick me. Your brain is playing tricks on itself, um, because it's fighting between what it sees, what it hears, what it feels, and what it knows it should see, hear, and feel. And thankfully, I don't really have the vision aspect. I have the blurred, extremely blurry, wave-like, like I said, but I'm not seeing something coming. Which I think would be more terrifying to see, like, a huge monster walking towards you. And I know that it's not always monsters, as you can tell. Um, there's normal things, like Jeffrey. Um, I feel like that's going to probably be a joke now. It's like, oh, Jeffrey's here again. And my little hint that something's coming up. But um, it's kind of scary, too, when you don't see them. Because, like, you're hearing someone there, but someone's not there. So you keep looking, like, where's this person? And schizophrenia, a big side part of it, is paranoia. And I have a very strong paranoia with it. So I am feeling this, that someone is watching me. And this voice in my head is saying that this person is watching me. I am being followed according to everything spoken right now. I am being followed. And I feel it, and I feel like someone is after me, and that I'm being followed in that life is awful right now because someone is trying to kill me. And logically, I know that someone is not really trying to kill me. But as far as what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling, someone is literally right behind me, breathing on my neck right now. There's a snake in the corner, and my car has a bomb on it. That is what I'm feeling. That is what I'm seeing. That is what I'm thinking. That is what I'm hearing. It's real for me. And it's an issue because I am not, I am more self-medicated than anything else. Simply because I do not want to be on anti-schizophrenic medicines. Um, I more of take antidepressants and kind of mix, mash the thing to make it work for me. It's not perfect, but it's better than this. And... The reason why is because I really want to work for CPS when I grow up. It's been my dream for years and years and years. But if you have schizophrenia or any um, paranoia disorder, as they call it, you cannot legally work for the government, even if you are safely medicated. Even if you've been on medicine for years and years and years, haven't had a flare-up or anything. Once you get that diagnosis, you can never work for the government. I mean, it's any government thing. Post office, even. You can't work for the post office. You can't work for a bank. Um, you can't. You can't do it. Um, can't work. You can't drive a school bus because that's part of the government. 
um, school district is still part of the government. So, I mean, you can't even, you may be able to be a teacher, maybe, but you can't be a principal. And so many jobs you can't do. I mean, you may be able to work some office, but, you know, I'm not wanting to live my life at a McDonald's worker for the rest of my life, or, um, or work as desk jockey, which, I mean, I guess is what I'd be in CPS, because that's kind of the role I'm wanting, more the background role. But either way, I mean, I personally want to feel like I'm making a difference, and I can't do that if I'm diagnosed, but I know I need help. And that is my current issue, because I really need help right now. But if I receive help currently, it'll hurt me in the long run. And I know this is only going to get worse till I absolutely have to have help, but I don't. I can't do it right now, and this is the big fight. <sighs> sorry. Sorry. Sorry, he grabbed me. He grabbed me. Please stop. 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 keeps touching me. He's like stroking my back and he's messing with my hair and he's trying to do stuff and I don't, I don't, I don't want to do stuff guys. I really don't want to do stuff right now. Please. Not interested. Not interested, sir. I, I'm not interested. Please, please leave me alone. I know he's not real. I know he's not real. But it still feels like he's trying to strip me. And I've been raped so many times in the past before I even had any of these incidents that right now feeling like someone is trying to strip me is freaking me out, guys. It's freaking me out. Just guys, please. I, I know he's not there, I know he's not there, I know he's not there, he's not there, he's not there, he's not there. He's not there, he's not there. Maybe if I keep saying that he'll go away. He'll go away. Please no, please no, please no. No, 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 no. I'm trying to keep the camera on me because I'm trying to make a video for you guys, but he keeps touching me, it's freaking me out. I feel like if I move he's just gonna move with me. I don't think I can keep doing this video. Guys, everything's freaking me out. And I'm really self-conscious about posting this too. Because, I mean... You're gonna use this video to lock me up. I'm pretty sure of it. You're gonna lock me up. And I'm gonna be gone. And I'm never gonna be able to work for the CPS. They're gonna kick me out. I'm gonna be alone. They're gonna test on me. They're gonna experiment on me. They're gonna make me talk, but I won't talk. I won't talk. They they don't they don't know what I know. They don't need to know. They don't need to know. I'll keep this secret safe. I'll keep everyone safe. I'm a superhero. I can't. I can't be caught. I can't be caught. I'm a hero. I'll keep everyone safe. Everyone's safe. They won't speak if they catch me. They won't. You guys will be safe. Everyone will be safe. They won't know. They won't know. They won't know. I'll protect everyone. I have to. I'm the only one who knows the truth about them. That they're gonna catch me gonna hurt me. They're gonna kill me. Just like my friend. They're gonna kill me. They experiment on me. They're gonna try to get them to they're gonna try to get me to take them home, but I won't take them to my home. Because they're nice people there and I don't want them to hurt anyone. Like and I don't want them to hurt any humans, so I must
protect them. They have to protect the earth. Because if I if I don't, then who will? And I, I don't know what's going to happen. I won't stop touching me. He won't stop touching me. What if he works for them? What if what if he's going to tell them? He's going to tell them. He's going to tell them I'm here. He's going to tell them I'm being recorded. I have proof here. I made proof for them to catch me. I'm a moron. I, oh, I'm such a moron. I'm such a moron. They're going to catch me for sure now. No, no, I need to snap out of it. This video needs to be posted. It needs to be posted. It needs to be posted. They need to learn. They, they, need, they need to know what it's really like to... I need to try to break the stigma. We're suffering. We're not going to hurt anyone. We're not going to hurt anyone. I, I need... I need to tell the world. I need to tell the world. I need to tell the world. I need to... Tell. Shut up, please. Please shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, 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 shut up. I I just need I need to post this before before I lose my nerve. I need to post this before I lose my nerve. I need to do this, I need to do this, I need to do this, I need to do this. Oh my gosh, I need I need to do this. I need to do this or I'll freak out. I need to do this. Just just I need, I need, I need to save it. I need to just, just save the video and upload it before you second guess yourself. Before you second guess yourself. Oh my gosh, I'm probably gonna die tomorrow. I'm gonna die. Believe me, guys. Though I will fight until my last breath to keep you safe. I promise it. I promise it. I'm gonna fight for you. And you all are gonna call me crazy, say it's not true, but maybe I just need to accept it. Maybe, maybe I'm not crazy. Maybe I really just know more than everyone. Maybe I really am old enough to know more. It, it's hard knowing if I'm crazy and making stuff up, or I mean, it's so clear in my mind. My memories are so clear flying and fighting and being a hero that it has to be true. Why else would I have such deep memories of it? You can't make those up, right? You can't make those up. <laughs> I'm not that imaginative. So, it has to be true. I mean, I can't fake that stuff, right? I mean, you guys have met me. I can't even speak most of the time properly. I'm a hero. I'm the great hero Valkyrie. And I'm gonna protect everyone. I guess it's my big identity reveal, huh? Either two things will happen. Either years from now I'll look back and be like, this is the moment I came out as a hero. Or years from now, I may be Medicaid and look back and think, man, I was absolutely insane, and none of this is real, and I probably embarrassed myself like crazy, I need to delete this. But one of two things, one of two things, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be the first one. I'm going to be a hero for you guys, and then even for whatever reason, it does end up that I'm just crazy, then and maybe I'll... I'll I, then I, I should I should keep it up anyway so people know some warning signs and we're not like the TV we're not gonna go shooting people and I say we even though I'm not crazy though crazy doesn't mean violent I'm not I'm neither I'm neither I only I'm only violent when I'm protecting people and I never kill anyone mm -mm. Earth is precious. I wouldn't kill anyone on Earth. This is my big coming out story for you guys. This is so... Since I can't get him to stop touching me, I'm gonna stop this video here so I can go hide. Maybe 
rub myself clean in the shower because this is disgusting. Um, bye, 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 guys. Bye. <laughs>